Hello everybody! In this video I'll show you how to connect DualShock 3 and 4 gamepads to a computer or smartphone. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If you are a happy owner of a PlayStation 3 or 4 and wondering if you could connect a gamepad from your console to a computer, you will certainly find this video useful. So, what do you need to connect such a game controller? First of all, the PlayStation controller itself and a USB cable that comes with your PlayStation, with a mini USB connector for DS3 and a micro USB connector for DS4. Or you could use a Bluetooth adapter if you don't feel like fiddling with the wires, and of course you should have an emulator utility. Sony has developed a special Bluetooth adapter to connect DualShock 4 to a computer, and you can buy it at any computer shop. However, you can use any other adapter if it's version 2.1 or higher. To connect a gamepad, you should download an Xbox 360 controller driver and a SCP Toolkit package. You can find all the links under the video. Use the cable to connect the gamepad to the computer and wait until Windows finds and installs suitable drivers. Now check if it is recognized properly. Go to Control Panel, Devices and Printers, and look for PS Gamepad. Right-click on it and select Game Controller Settings and then Properties. Go to the Test tab to see if it works properly. If buttons don't light up, go to the Settings tab and calibrate the device. If you are using Windows 7 or an older operating system, you will have to install Xbox 360 controller driver first. Download the SCP Toolkit package and run the .exe file as administrator. Agree to the conditions and click Next. Now check the box next to SCP Toolkit Bluetooth Pair Utility and click Install. At this stage, don't hurry to click Finish, but choose Run Driver Installer instead to get the necessary drivers installed. Click Install Bluetooth at Driver. Uh, on this list, select your Bluetooth device by checking the box next to the adapter. Then, in the list Install DualShock 3 Driver, choose your controller, PlayStation 3 controller. If you are connecting DualShock 4, select the corresponding driver. After installation, you will see Xbox 360 controller for Windows in Devices and Printers, which means that the emulation was successful. Right-click on it and select Game Controller Settings, then Properties, and check if everything works as it should by pressing the gamepad buttons. Otherwise, run SCP Toolkit Monitor, right-click on the application icon in the control panel, and choose Input Test. In this window, you can test your gamepad. After all drivers are installed, restart the computer and test the computer in games. To connect via Bluetooth, make sure it's enabled for your computer. Go to Settings and do it. Settings, Devices, Bluetooth and other devices. After that, check if SCP, play, uh, SCP server is running. To do it, open Task Manager by pressing the key shortcut Ctrl-Shift-Escape and find SCP Service. As you can see, everything works fine with the cable connection. Now disconnect the cable and wait until one indicator lights up. It means the one controller is connected. The controller is now connected and you can see that all buttons work properly. Now let's try to play a game. As you can see, everything is fine and gamepad buttons are displayed in the menu.
If you fail to connect DualShock 4 to a computer with this emulator, there is one more tool – DS for Windows, specially designed for this model. DS for Windows is another emulator to disguise DualShock into looking just like a standard Xbox 360 controller. In its turn, this standard controller is supported in most Windows games by default. The disadvantage of this method is that in games you will see standard Xbox buttons. Instead of the circle, square and triangle, you'll be offered to use A, B and X. You can download it from the official website by following the link below this video. You can also download an additional language pack. Extract files from the downloaded archive and run the program. In this window, click Step 1 – Install the DS4 driver. The second button should be clicked if you are using Windows 7 or an older operating system, or if an Xbox 360 gamepad was connected to this computer before and there were compatibility issues. Click Finish to complete the installation. Then go to the tab Controllers and click Start in the right lower corner. The connected controller should appear. You don't need to close the program because it should be open to work properly, but you can minimize it to the system tray. That's all, now you can relax and play. In some games the gamepad may work incorrectly, in this case you can fix it by enabling the option Hide DS4 controller and reconnecting the gamepad. If you enable this option and see an error, remove it from the device manager and then reconnect the gamepad. If you need to reassign some buttons or add more sensitivity to your controller, open the Profiles tab. Press the button you need to change and a new window will open, where you should select the button you want to use instead. In this menu, you can configure that zone, sensitivity and even the color of the light bar. If you want to connect one of these gamepads to a smartphone, you will need an OTG adapter. As to DualShock 3, it only works with a smartphone with root access enabled. Otherwise, there will be no connection. Go to Play Market and download 6-axis controller to your phone. It is a commercial tool and it costs about $2. Enable Bluetooth on your smartphone and launch the application. Click Start here to install drivers. Then press the power button on the gamepad and in this tab change the input method to 6-axis controller. You can uh, also connect a gamepad via USB, so tap here to enable USB connection. As you can see, now I can control my phone, browse the menu, run applications and play games, and all of that with a gamepad. Connecting DualShock 4 to a smartphone is even easier. You don't need any additional tools. The only thing you need for a cable connection is an OTG adapter and a smartphone with OTG support. Just connect the controller to your phone and press the PS button and the two devices should get connected. For a Bluetooth connection, hold down the Share and PS buttons on the gamepad and wait until the light bar starts flashing. Then go to Bluetooth settings on your phone and choose wireless controller in available devices. After that, you can start a game and try playing it with your gamepad. And that is all for now. I hope you liked this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!